to still, you know what I'm saying, from Shine Rock to Baltimore to Oakland to Frisco, you know what I mean? The movement, the struggle continues. So, yeah. God is a protection each and one of you, organized such a life. Next up, I want to call up a very important artist on the mic. Oh, you want to go ahead and do that, brother? You got a description? Well, I'll just do it for you if you want. This is actually, I'm going to call up my wife to the mic, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's time for the queens to do their things. You know, this is a little sweet. Last night, we just got down in Oakland. It was a benefit for the Anti-Police Terror Project. You know what I mean? It was a hip-hop show we did. Uh, a little Sharif and I and uh, another artist. And we raised uh, $1,400, you know what I mean, for the Anti-Police Terror Project, which meets in, in, in Oakland at the Eastside Auto Alliance every third Wednesday at 7.30. So you want to get involved with that campaign, you can. Justice for Yvette Henderson, you know, a young mother who uh, was gunned down in Emeryville, you know what I mean? They're working on that campaign right now, justice for Kenneth Hardy right here in Frisco, justice for O'Shea Evans, justice for them all. Do y'all know what's the call? What's the call? What's the call? For all political prisoners, including Mumia Abu Jamal, who they're trying to execute for medical neglect right now. We need to keep up the pressure on the state to make sure that our brother Mumia, the voice of the voiceless, gets the right attention because what they're trying to do is a medical execution. You know what I mean? So we have to save Mumia. It's Mumia 911 for real. So free Mumia, free them all. Love you, say love. Get ready for Aliyah Sharif, though. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we're back. This is Freeman Sullivan here in San Francisco from Malcolm X Day. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. How's everybody feeling? Thank you all for coming out in solidarity. We out here, okay? They want us distracted by this media that they present, these technology that has us all occupied, but it's really important to check in with the people like they're doing. So give it up for yourselves. Give it up for yourselves for coming out solidarity. So I'm gonna just kick a couple acapellas. My name is Aaliyah Sharif, Muslim and hip hop artist. I stay in the Bay Area. Um, so my first song I'm going to do is called a piece called Black Heroes. And speaking of Mumia, um, Mumia Abdul-Jabbar, he was definitely in the video as well, as well as Malcolm X, Malcolm X's grandson, who was assassinated in Mexico, um, and some other black heroes. So you guys ready for Black Heroes? So let's see if we can do this on, on the, can you hear me, can you hear me clearly? Alright, cool. So we like, we gonna wait for this to all calm down, okay. Black, d -d -d -black, yeah, I'm coming to the rescue. Moving like I'm playing chess, invested in my next move. Media attack on black, they're changing the facts, don't make me act up. This is just a test, but still they let the greed affect them. They believe in the resurrection, so pray Jesus and neglect them. Teaching adolescents, reckless is until they change their dress. Cause it's easier to say yes. Take advantage of the common sense, now you changing their consciousness. And we coming to you like a friend, so your friends, yep, yes. We do in the third of babies. They trying to sell us murder, they foolishly trying to slay these. Hey ladies, don't give in to the sins. No, they disguise this trend, attacking your innocence within. We the roots of the tree, stronger than leaves. No comparing branches, baby. If you're gonna see, we're gonna bring you truth, cause we black heroes. We're gonna show you how they rewrote history. Willie Lynch is letter. It ain't no mystery. They stole it from us all. And now we gotta free them all. Cause we black heroes. We black heroes. We black heroes. Cause I'm black like the first man who caught the evil. And I'm African like the emperor of Ethiopia. I'm dark like the night when it penetrates the day. Papa Adam, peace be upon him, was made with dark clay. And I won't partake in these evil ways of the junior Britain makers. These bright lights will ruin you and confuse you. They entertain plain Jane while she lives. They taking shots at us, say it's cause God we trust. But they ain't talking about that man's height. They talking about that one night underneath the dollar sign. Lies and rumors to consumers. But the truth is every 28 hours a black man assassinated. Others incarcerated. The system we live in is jaded. So we bang it, we bang it, we bang it on the door. Gonna let me tell our wars. On the undercover shop perform. It's time to move forward. No more puppets to perform. Cause black heroes will not stand for it. Hey. <laughs> Peace and blessings, peace and blessings.
So Black Heroes, a Lewis review, you can check that video out on YouTube. Definitely got a lot of leaders in there, from Africa to leaders in America, African Americans, but it's Black Heroes. You know they try to rewrite history, and it started a long, long time ago before what they're doing today. So check that out. My last piece is who ready? Y'all ready? Yeah. Who ready? Who ready? Y'all yeah. ready? Okay, you was just sounding too ready at first. Y'all ready? When I say who ready, say I'm ready. Who ready? Yeah. Who ready? Yeah. Who ready? Yeah. Put your fist up. If you're the real revolutionary, put your fist up. If you're the real revolutionary, put your fist up. Let me tell you how we do it as real revolutionaries out here. I said we fastened in these wild times, living my rhymes, trying to envision a better picture, division, divide, blinded by minutes for differences, yo, it's facts over opinion, switching your comments in just so you can fit it, now you get it, you with sinners, you don't want to your business, you try to build the trick, no matter who you within, you're disrespecting our women, you're cashing checks just to benefit effects to our mental, who gave them credentials, so we come at you to take that, cause them fakeness, ain't no way that music can be used as a tool to abuse us, time to wake up, reaffirm your lyrics, Cause if you go with the flow, then you're part of the gimmick Nah, we don't feel it, you scripted, your image, you shifted And now your lifestyle slipping A mid you ain't even submitting to the limits Did it all for the screaming Now we all in the building like Who ready, we was born to be ready Put your fist up, tell me the real revolutionary Cause when the time come, who ready to ride Or is you gonna be sitting there on the sidelines Who ready, we was born to be ready Put your fist up, tell me the real revolutionary Cause when the time come, who ready to ride or is you gonna be sitting there on the sideline? Look, they want me to be ignorant, considerate, belligerent, or what bitch you went to little deliberately, throwing hits like a frisbee. Can I get out of here where the exit breaks? Who next on the checklist? Those who will neglect this. Choose to be fools, bring your rhetoric. The confederate, living lifestyle hectic. Mad cause I'm coming to the wreck it, wreck it. Like who was ready, who was born to be ready? Put your fist on, tell me the real revolutionary. Cause when the time how come? How ready to ride? Or is you gonna be sitting there on the sidelines? Who ready? We was born to be ready. Put your fist up. Tell them you the real revolutionary. Cause when the time comes, is you ready to ride? Or is you gonna be sitting there on the sidelines? Who ready? A little Shereen. Shout out to everybody who came out in solidarity. Shout out to the organizers of, of this event. Shout out to everyone out there putting knowledge out there and teaching our babies and putting them aware of what these police are doing to us currently at this situation. Every 28 hours a black person in this country is assassinated, and that's just the facts. And we, we, we have to fight back, because if we don't do it, ain't nobody going to do it for us. Can they, do you feel me? God bless, God bless. Give it up one more time for Louis Sharif. Alright, so, so speaking of strong women. Sorry, we had to take a little break a little bit earlier. Speaking of strong women, I want to bring up a woman from the Bayview Rose Point that is the reason that we still have that opera house there. We must never forget the hard work and dedication of Ruth Williams, who saved the Bayview Opera House after the 1966 riots. Malachi T talked about this new German woman that's running the show, okay? But this was a local community thing, and without the hard work of Ruth Williams, that Opera House would not be here. I also want to, uh, also want to take uh, uh, the point to remember that we are always, you know, Quartet Pro ain't gone nowhere. In fact, just this last week, Folk up with the United Nations. That's one of Malcolm's uh, uh, goals right in his life. Folk up with the United Nations trying to talk about Quartet Pro. And the U.S. just passed its excuses and made up fairy tales about, uh, about why it was okay. It ain't okay, it's never been okay. But nevertheless, Quartet Pro, we know, still exists. And so I want to bring that up because I want to ask everyone as we're celebrating, as we're eating, as we're communing, as we're getting down, if we can make sure and try and to, uh, keep the uh, plaza area as clean as we can so that we uh, 
so that because uh, otherwise them folk are going to come after us and we want to keep on doing this. So I want a commitment from folk to work with me on that one. They were talking about all of the 11 different districts in San Francisco, the Castro district, the outer mission, the Tenderloin and Soma, South of Market, the Sunset in Richmond, and then when they get to Bayview, they holler, change Bayview. They holler, change Bayview, but all the rest of the other 10 districts, they speak good of them. But when they talk about Bayview, what that say? What that say? So change Bayview. Change Bayview. So they want to move us out. But where we going? We at the Bay already. They don't want us over there in the West. We at the Bay. Where we going? Where we going? We got to start doing something. We got to come together and start standing up. We fought here. I shot it out with the National Guards over in front of the Upper House all the way up to the top of the hill. I shot it out with the police on West Point. I, I paid my dues to be here. I paid my dues to be here. So now where we going? A lot of y'all was here. Where we going? Change the baby on my ass. Right off. Right off. Right off. Right off. Baby Hunters Point community is here to stay. Yeah. Let me hear you, folk. Let me hear you, I'll repeat after me. Baby Hunters Point community is here to stay. Oh, we can do that, we can do it a little better. Bayview Hunters Point community is here to stay! Bayview Hunters Point community is here to stay! All of us are not. 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 All yeah, that's fine. So, uh, you want to let people know? You want? Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, we we got a sign here, Full West Poplar. You know, we we you know we can talk about the local here, Baby Hunters Point community, because that's where we are. That is where we live. Okay, but Malcolm, in the spirit of our Hajj Malik Al Shabazz, Malcolm X, Malcolm, especially later in his uh, life and his political development was an internationalist. He was about African people all over the world standing in solidarity, supporting each other and, and, and supporting each other's liberation struggles. And we have a sign here, Free West Poplar. Sis, you want to talk about this? Yeah. Thank you so much, Jeremy. You know, first of all, everybody, um, we feel very humble here at Pacific Islanders. This is my sister, Tokana and I. We're, we're not biologically sisters, <laughs> but you know, a sister. And uh, we're Pacific Islanders, so I just want to say, Malo Lele, Tala Palama, Aloha, Pulavanaka. <laughs> yeah, so it's all Pacific Islanders from the islands. And you know, Baby Hunters Point is nothing new to us. This is where a lot of Samoans live. You know, um, so th this is also has, has been a place that a lot of Pacific Islanders have lived too. I just want to say though, I, you know, we have to take the time too as indigenous people. We have to give a lot of thanks and a lot of love to the First Nations of this land. So we're on a lonely land and we want to give them um, a lot of respect. I want to say, sister, thank you so much for your performance. It touched us. I want, you know, we want to, uh, we want to thank Bilal and Felicia for inviting us today. Because we, we want to say specific islanders, and you know, our, our country got colonized. That's how we came to this uh, American KKK. And we come here and we fight just like the Africans and the African Americans. And we say, you know, when I grew up in Utah, when I came to Utah in the 80s to the Mormon church, this is my humble industry. And we were in, um, you know, in a white supremacist um, town. And it was by learning about Malcolm, that great black prince, that made us through as kids growing up in Provo, Utah. 
And I, I want to say, with it, you have solidarity always with Pacific Islanders. Malcolm is our black prince too. We also want to claim him. I want to say that this is this time also we're standing here in Kenneth Harding Plaza. This very moment is also a dream of my people. Although we come from so far away, most of you don't know where I come from, where Tonga is, where these little islands are, right Tonga? But we know who Malcolm is. We know his sacrifices and his work. And this is something we know back in the islands, but not know you have heard of. We know Malcolm. We know his work. We know his life. And I, we come here and we stand humbly with our ancestors in the land of the First Nations and say thank you so much, Brother Malcolm. Thank you so much for your life and everyone who has fought with you. And I want to give a, just a chance on the mic for my sister, Sokanga. Hi, thank you. Well, I want to thank you. Um, I have nothing to offer but our solidarity and our love. And um, these tears of, of joy, but at the same time, of just a lot of sadness. There's a lot of sadness going on. And Free West Papua, we're talking about all the colonizers. We're talking about Indonesia and our brothers and sisters in uh, yeah, the South Pacific, yeah. right? So, you know, you work hard, you do all this shit, you go to school for what? You know what I'm saying? And then you got, like, fucking, you know, climate change. So we're, we're dealing with visibility, you know, and we stand on these grounds, and you guys welcome us, and all we have is love, like we say, we know Malcolm. We wake up, we feel Malcolm. And these tears are just a acknowledgement and visibility, and I'd like to thank all of you guys from our hearts. It's completely beautiful to see all these men and women, especially the elders. Thank you to the elders. If it wasn't for our elders, we won't be here on this land. And um, again, just thank you. Thank you. Malo Tegana, Malo And then just quickly to tell you guys about Free West Papua. So on Wednesday at IFH Intertribal Friendship House in Oakland, we're going to have a Free West Papua um, uh, event. Uh, Wednesday at 6 o'clock until 9. And the event is uh, Benny Winder, he's the spokesperson of West Papua. Okay, y'all, uh, West Papua is, uh, is, is part of the Pacific Islands. And, you know, everybody thinks, like, the Pacific Islands is about the hula, right? And, like, dancers and stuff like that, right? And you guys have never, you, you guys all think that they have, like, like, the girls just have these hips and they've got the long hair, right? Wearing these uh, coconut bras, right? Well, no, you understand the colonization in our body, too. And actually, uh, um, as, as Pacific Islanders, we are black Pacific Islanders. They live in the Melanesian part of the Pacific. Okay, so West Papua are black Pacific Islanders. And just like everywhere around the world, what happens to a lot of black people? They're natural resource and indigenous people. They're also indigenous people. Their natural resources are stolen, right? Their people are in genocide. So Indonesia is over that, but Indonesia is just the foot soldiers for the United States of America and from corporations from all over the world who are going there and taking their natural resources. Natural gas, gold, copper. So this is what's going in West Papua. And their leader who was going to come on Wednesday, guess what everybody? He was come he lives in exile in London, England. He was on Heathrow Airport and the US Homeland Security stopped this brother and said you cannot go on your trip to talk about your people to the United States of America. Why? Because yeah, they're scared. They're scared of what we're doing. They're scared of what's happening right now at Kenneth Harding Plaza. So our dear um, Benny Wenders actually stopped and he can't come on Wednesday, but we hope that he will Skype in. But so this is what is going on with the struggle. So we just want you to please learn more about West Papua. Go home and Google about it. At Thursday. Thursday, South Francisco, where, sister? Can you, I'm CPE at, so the same event for free West Papua is going to be here in San Francisco too, if you don't want to cross the bridge. Um, it's going to be at 518 Valencia at 6 p.m. So, you know, Takan and I just want to say, so, Malo Pito, Mokoma Pito Malo To, Opera Hiyata to all of you, that's just the deepest gratitude, a lot of love, and thank you, and yes, of course, always, love, greater deep gratitude to Brother Malcolm. Thank you. Thank you. Just, 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 just,
folks, I, I think this is so critical because, you know, it was, I was an adult out here before the first time I ever heard of West Papua and what's, uh, what's going on over there. And, and I, I want to title him to Brother Malcolm, not just based on his love for black people all over the world and his internationalism, but based on the fact that over here, here in the Bayview Hunters Point community, like many other of our communities around the country and around the world, there is a double genocide going on. Not just are we burying our youth, not just are we having our housing ripped out from under us, not just are we being economically exploited, but by being pushed down, ground down into these situations, it weakens us to the point where we cannot be the soldiers we need to be for our brothers and sisters around the world. So that is a double genocide. And, and, and the reason I ask the sisters to stay up here is I want to see if they'd say a few words about another Pacific island, which, uh, which just recently, about a month and a half ago, was hit by a devastating storm. I'm talking about Vanuatu. It's not one of these places the people the, 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 the people don't uh, uh, you know talk about all that much. They call the folk over there Melanesians, like melanin, like black skin, because those are some of the first people that migrated out from the continent of Africa. This is and 90 percent, 90 percent of 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 their of their of their infrastructure country was destroyed. This is something, it was a blip in the media. No one be talking about that, but they still need our aid. So I wanted to pass the mic to Sister. Yeah, thank you so much, Jeremy. The guy was talking about climate change is also another form of colonization. Like um, Brother Bilal always says, gentrification is what's happening in San Francisco, and that's the kind of colonization, the, the colonization, the original colon <laughs> What am I talking about? I am talking about gentrification is colonization, and climate change is a continued form of colonization. And that is what's happening in the Pacific Islands. We are the, because the ocean is all around us, we're the first to go under. So yes, that's, that's something very real happening. Jeremy, thank you so much for this time on the mic at Free West Papua. Thank you. All right, folks, uh, I'm going to draw some, draw some beat sign in here. We're going to uh, last one there and gear up for our next performers. I want to thank everyone for coming out and joining us here today. Stay tuned. There is much, much more to come. Every case of police brutality against a Negro follows the same pattern. They attack you, brush you all upside your mouth, and then take you to court and charge you with assault. What kind of democracy is that? What kind of uh, freedom is that? What kind of social or political system is it when a black man has no voice in court? has no nothing on his side other than what the white man chooses to give him. Our brothers and sisters, we have to put a stop to this. We will never be stopped until we stop it ourselves. Sway Van Sullivan, and we're live here from Party Plaza here in San Francisco. We will be a victim of attacking him. This is American justice. This is American democracy. And those of you who are familiar with it know that in America, democracy is hypocrisy. Now, if I'm wrong, put me in jail. But if you can't prove that a democracy is not hypocrisy, then go put your hands on me. So it's a dark night, a six foot two inch hoodie wearing stranger is in the in the immediate housing complex. How would the ladies of that jury have reacted? I submit mm -hmm. that if they were armed, they would have shot a field trip on Martin a lot sooner than George Zimmerman did. Wow. This is self-defense.
Only white life is protected in America. Every black life is rejected till they bury up. A thousand blacks killed is suspected. Don't want to marry up. One white child is murdered. This mass hysteria. Two white kids killed. That's way beyond the limits. Three white kids killed. Now that's a damn epidemic. The president on TV crying and looking toe up. A bunch of blacks die. We don't even expect them to show up. You know what? If you know us, we're sad with the truth too. Cause we probably hate black people more than you do. Racist talk the racist of hatred. Was our faces we take hate to spare the test and to erase it. Blood on the pavement, no saving, no statements, no detainments, no arraignments, no more villains either. Is that the point? Because it's not racist. Fifty years ago, rest in power with Billy Holiday. That was by the way to Sorry Axe laying it down. I want to uh, bring up our next I want to bring up our next couple of performers. Uh, right now, uh, I'm proud to introduce uh, our local MC and Freedom Fighter, Kalina Monet. Go ahead with that. Uh, Kalina's got Mama Cody right now. Okay, and we have a very, uh, very special treat. Uh, Kalina is going to perform with another local talent. So uh, baby who hunts point. Her man Fry Benzo is gonna be up here. It's the first time that they've performed together. This is uh this is uh, uh groundbreaking here at Malcolm X Day SF. Yeah, just to let you know we're out here for Malcolm X Day here at Kenneth Harding Plaza here at the Baby District of San Francisco. This is your live hey, streamer, hey. Freeman Sullivan, hey. for KPFA Streams. Can you all make some noise? Yeah. Make some noise because you're in the place to be. Yeah. Make some noise because we carry in the torch. Yeah. Make some noise for the spirit of resistance. Yeah. And make some noise because Africans never die. Yeah. Islam. Yeah, so we're going to do a little acapella. This is called My Philosophy is D. If you know the words, sing along. Huh? <laughs> hey, my philosophy is D. Hey, mo fire, mo fire, mo fire. More fire, more fire upon the Babylon system. More fire upon the Babylon system. More fire upon the Babylon system. Funny system, funny system. More fire upon the Babylon system. Everything happens for a reason. Better learn to count your blessings if you healthy and you breathe it. Stop all that damn complaining, the only way you can receive them. Every right in front of your face, open your eyes so you can see them. I believe that my belief is the only reason I'm achieving that's why my limit is the sky and why your limit has a ceiling i just pray that when i die that i continue living try to show them another way but they continue sinning if we keep killing one another they continue winning get the really legend hey <laughs> what is god is for is who could be against yes, us let me see who throw your motherfucking fist up be going through some things you won't see me cut my wrist up. Hey. First rule of being a man is never bitch up. Plus black, take a stand for humanity. Cut the subhuman treatment got me losing my sanity. Plus black, nigga. Hey, my, my philosophy, philosophy is, is this. Yeah. Uh, more fire, more fire, more fire, more fire. More fire upon the Babylon system. More fire upon the Babylon system. Funny system. Funny system. More fire upon the Babylon system. More fire upon the Babylon system. More fire upon the Babylon system. 
Fire bomb and run that system. More fire, fire bomb these systems. Uh, my blood DZ passed through my back, and I really miss them. Stuck on the land, where they make up laws and they make twist them. them. The mid space dropping on native tongue, nobody gets them. Slicing through this cake of many layers. I'm gonna need the strength of God. Throw an endless state my prayers. Never gave my way through hell. Make my way past many haters. I'm legit like Robin Hood, but something like an evil slayer. Thanking God for what he's given me. Now I'm asking for his hand to grant yeah, me serenity. Tired of seeing my people dead and in the penitentiary. Tired of seeing my people stuck with these bad memories. Stuck with this bad energy. Has got to draw near to me. Hold me close beneath the wing and please hold dear to me. Drive away the fear from me. Hey, hey. my philosophy is this. We can't spend all our time steady banking on the wish. It's, it's all, all about, about that action. action. My philosophy is this. Yeah. yeah. More fire. More fire. More fire. More fire. More fire upon the body line system. Hey. Hey. Can I get a more fire? More fire. Hey. 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 <laughs> All power to the people. Make some noise for the queen! Make some noise because we're still out here holding it down. They, they gave me a restraining order for three years. You know what I mean? They gave me a restraining order, a uh, stairway order from this, this very place we are right now for three years. For pushing a hard line every single day. You know what I mean? But we back. <laughs> but there's no limit to how far we can go. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna do a couple of tracks for y'all off of my project, Birth of a New Breed. So, uh, as the elder was speaking, Kilu, me, not, excuse me, Kilu, the elder Kilu was speaking, she touched on something that Malcolm X said, and we all got our different methods. You know, so my way that I fight against the system is, I'm a mother, a full-time mother. I homeschool, I do not, and I think Malcolm X said something about you'll be a fool to put your, your children in, the, you know, that foreign system. So uh, I have mine right there with me close at all times. Um, so yeah, and through my music. And so I'm going to do a couple for y'all right now. It's a called birth of a new breed. Yeah. Hey, let me introduce you. Because Malcolm X, he birthed a new breed. We all out here right now. This is a birth of a new breed right here. Hey, Malcolm X, hey, hey, let me introduce you. Hey, they say don't fight the pain, embrace it. It's all for something new, so the labor and the pain. Sometimes you gotta go through. It's a fresh start, such a grand new heartbeat. The stars keep making way, pave away, and I'll end up, baby, break. Hey, contract, relax, contract, and then relax. See, I fed the flow of life. Sometimes contractions back to back, space long. Eyes on the pie, just hold on. All this comfort and no pain, this shit don't last you too long. They say, take a deep breath, they nail all the sweetness. They say I'm all the BS, then you gotta repeat this. So I'm gonna need this. They say you gotta get your feet wet, cause the spirit is be giving us these great decisions. No, I'm not preaching, but who are no sharing games? And anytime you gain some wisdom, I suggest you do the same. Even one, teach one. Oh, yes, that gotta be the name. It's for my seeds, bro. That's the name. I introduce you to the new free. Hey, let me introduce you. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce you, let me introduce you, let me introduce you, hey, to the birth of a new free. yeah, this is the birth of a new free. I, ne I neglected to do that. So this is it. Hey, hey. I never meant to hurt you. Hey, I never meant to hurt you. 
Can I hear you say that? Meant to hurt you. Hey, hey. I never meant to hurt you. Hey, I never meant to hurt you. Hey, hey, hey. I swear I never meant to hurt you. Tell me, can we try to make this work, boo? I know what times I made you feel you wasn't worth it. But nothing's first before you, and I know you ain't deserve what you are. And probably perfect. We more than just the surface. You so deep. But still, I treated you ugly and cheap. And I thought I couldn't sleep. No one in my heart, I push you away. I acted foolishly to you. And there was nothing more to say. Please just tell me that you'll stay. And maybe we can rebuild we Cause I swear that really, really. To hurt you, no, this is true to make it up. What can I do? I'm ready to go above me. I'm gonna show my love is through the roof. I heard you just wait again. Cause then my actions be the proof, whatever you need. I do infinity, add it by two. I say it all and over again. I never meant to hurt you. Hey, hey, to hurt you. Hey, hey, hey. I never meant to hurt you. Said I never meant to hurt you, baby. Hey, man, to hurt you. Yeah, this queen right here loves herself. I can tell. Hey, man, to hurt you. Hey, hey. Instead of joy, give always joy wrecking to you. Sorry when I didn't give respect to you. I was trying to check you. I was all trying to correct you. Only thing I never did was ever try to break my neck, too. And show you was happy. I was something kind of crappy. I was supposed to give you love. I put another above. I feel so dumb. Feeling so numb. The pain in your heart, I think it all from. That low so heavy, you carry it for too long. My God, you're so strong. You've been so patient with me. Again, I want to let you know with all of me. I swear that's really, really. I never miss. And that is why I'm talking straight to you. I'm not just speaking for my help. It's time to have this talk with self Let this go learn and grow. Gotta try my inner girl to me like the creative yo. Blooming like a rose, no one ever graduate. Blooming slow. Whenever we'll never graduate. Hey, for me, to hurt you. Hey, hey, I never meant to hurt you. We gotta love ourselves, baby. And then tell me to love each other that much more. Thank y'all. Hey, everybody, give it up for Tarina Monet. It's an honor for me to uh, to uh, to bring him up. I've been knowing this brother for several years now. Uh, this is Opium Sabah, and he, Opium's been laying it down. Uh, he's been laying it down with uh, 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 an international, revolutionary hip hop. And uh, you want to say a few words, Ben? Sure. What's up? What's up? How's everyone doing? I just wanted to uh, have a brief moment of silence for uh, for all our fallen soldiers and uh, for Malcolm X as well. So you know you can bow your head, just go to a place in your mind where you can uh, where you can give thanks and uh, remembrance for uh, our passed on loved ones. All right, um, like I said, my name is Opium Sabah. Um, I am the son of uh, the legendary Shebi Sabah, who if y'all do not know, he started the uh, world music scene here in the Bay Area, which uh, spread worldwide. He was the first producer and uh, DJ to mix uh, traditional elements of Indian and Arabic music with uh, modern, you know, studio techniques. And um, it's a uh, big, you know, it's a, it's a whole genre now. He started that genre. So uh, I'm just trying to carry on his legacy and what I learned from him and what he taught me uh, musically, socially, radically, and revolutionarily. So, um, we're going to give it a shot. I am going to need y'all's participation on this first one. It's called Only in America. It's off my upcoming album that my father produced called Freedom is Free, which y'all can expect this summer. So when I say stealing oil overseas, I need y'all to say Only in America. And then I'm going to say brainwashed MCs, and y'all are going to say Only in America. So y'all ready to give it a shot? Yeah! All right, all right, let's do it. Malcolm X Day, Frisco. Yeah! There is something I am trying to tell you, something that really happened. Hey, Owen. 
Let's give it up for little baby Rachel one time. Yeah! <laughs> this is the first time she's ever been on stage with me while I perform, so this is kind of a special thing right now. Freedom is not only a physical thing, y'all. It's a mind state. You can always be free wherever you are in the world, whatever you're, deal whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're faced with. You're overseas. Brainwashed them seas. The rich get richer while the poor drown in poverty. Read between the lines, you live in Illuminati, stealing oil overseas. Brainwashed them seas. The rich get richer while the poor drown in poverty. Read between the lines, you live in... Only in America could this exist. Politicians get rich while our daughters turn tricks. The poor left for dead while the rich coexist. The red, white, and blue makes me sick. By the end of this shit, I'll be locked with this. See, Homeland Security want me clipped. The blood in my veins got me guilty as charged. But the Patriot Act leave us torture behind bars. And you wonder why my cousins, they are born like... Trying to run the next man land, but ain't here the scars. Wall Street, Nike's design of cars. While refugees abroad, struggle and starve. They say that this is our land, but this land ain't ours. Killing off our own people, fighting the wrong cause. Never go quietly, I'm playing the odds. The general is back from the desert to the fog. Stealing oil overseas. Brainwashed them seas. The rich get richer while the poor drown in poverty. Read between the lines, you live in Illuminati. I know the beat ain't bumping too loud, so uh, I'm gonna just go into the first single off my album, Al Capella, for y'all. It's called Patriot Act. If y'all ain't peeped the video on YouTube, by all means, do me a solid and go ahead and do that. Just type in Opium Survive Patriot Act. It's much appreciated. I'm feeling locked down, the world's against me. I guess the blood in my veins is what the threat be. I thought this was the land of the free, but it's like prison everywhere that I be. I'm feeling locked down, the world's against me. I guess the blood in my veins is what the threat be. I thought this was the land of the free, but it's like prison everywhere that I be. They got mics on the streets now, cameras in the lights, and you think you free how? You living in the past, I do it here and now, I can show you how, walk with me now. I speak from the heart and live this shit literally, pour some hen for them souls who ain't here with me. Yeah, my focus is state, no government could hold me, country or state, Gucci AK, defend my family on foreign land, slave ship shit, they buying us now, free your mind cousins, I can show you how, these are times of war and the revolutions now, if they ain't giving us free. Freedom, we taking it now. Guns up. Tip out here out of prison and they free Mumia. And the rest in the system and they free Mumia. And the rest in the system. I'm feeling locked down. The world's against me. I guess the blood in our veins is what the threat be. I thought this was the land of the free. But it's like prison everywhere that I be. I'm feeling locked down. The world's against me. I guess the blood in our veins is what the threat be. I thought this was the land of the free. But it's like prison everywhere that I be. Right on, y'all, right on. I'm going to get into one last acapella for y'all off my uh, title track, Freedom is Free, dedicated to my father, the late, great Chevy Sabah. Tunis, Algeria, the revolution is we. And if you ain't know, your freedom is free. Our footsteps echo through eternity. Societies, minorities reject their authority. Domestically and foreignly, this is what the aura be. Cage me, torture me, but I will not conform to thee. Revolutions in me, warrior pedigree, Gucci AK. On my side currently, OPM Shabazz. The government want to murder me. This goes out to them kids abroad. Who on their way to school, dodge tanks and kill squads. Your freedom's not forgotten, I stand for your cause. Resistance against all laws, political puppets and patriotic frauds. From La Magra to the city of God, from the Great Pyramids to that Bay Fog. Unspoken, unprotected by laws, indigenous Americans, war veterans in the name of those who gave their blood for real change and freedom of our people as one. Opium to buy, y'all.
Happy birthday to the great Malcolm X. Happy Malcolm X Day, Frisco. Hunter's point. It's your boy Opium Sabah. I salute you all for being here and standing in solidarity with us. And we gonna keep these these uh, performances moving on. And uh, we gonna keep doing things like this all the time. Come fuck with the community. Be part of the community. Be part of social and radical change. And make sure you hear you are part of it. Opium Sabah. Peace, y'all. So one more time for Opium Sabah, everybody! So now I'd like to bring out, you know, one of the, one of the uh, uh, hardships that uh, Hajj Malik and Shabazz, brother Malcolm X, spent quite a lot of time addressing our hardships that our community face is economic hardship. It's divestment. It's intentional economic marginalization of our peoples to continue the slaveocracy that is the United Capitals prison states of America. And so what I want to do now, what I want to do now is bring up some folk that have been laying it down here in San Francisco and across the bay in Oakland for years now. Stand it up. For poor folk, standing up for those who've been, those of us who've been economically attacked and marginalized, and letting people know, letting people know that we still got voices and that we still take care of our own. So I'd like to, uh, it's my pleasure here on Malcolm X Day, San Francisco, to bring up the poor poets. So a lot of people talk about revolution, but what about walking the walk of revolution, which means opening the path for our young people who have dealt with homelessness and poverty and racism because they're taught lies by the man school. So yeah, us poor people started the people school because guess what? Just because you don't go to an academic institution, it doesn't mean you don't have revolution. So I'm going to ask our young scholars who are learning the true history of leaders like Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey of Leonard Peltier to read a little bit of their excerpts of their letters about uh, their beautiful history here. But first we're going to hear one of you scholars talk about what is Decolonize Academy. So Decolonize Academy is about teaching children what you don't teach them in a man school, like like revolutionary history that's actually real, like not about the white man's history, you know. And also we have man school math, which is like we we learn math, but then it's like we learn it in a revolutionary way, so it's like. We're not learning it like a one plus one or like just in textbooks and stuff. We're actually learning it like physically. And um, why don't you step a little bit away from the speaker? There we go. Okay. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, okay. Let me tell you something. Dave Lincoln. I thought we were saying what is decolonized. Okay. So before I read this, this is dedicated to Malcolm X. And that's what we're all here for. So thank you for being here for Malcolm X. Because without Malcolm X, we wouldn't have all this. We wouldn't be free like we are now. We wouldn't be still be standing here today. James Lockett. James Lockett. Here Malcolm James X. Lockett. Thank you for Some being the people who risk their life. And for us to be proud of ourselves 
and not to hate each other, inspiring people to, to be what they want to be. Without you and others, we'd be shining shoes for the white men. I'm going to be saying a letter about our geeks. Dear Malcolm X, you are a good leader and you know your history. And when you, when you said your first speech, it was good because you talked about slavery and how you didn't know your father's last name and your grandfather's last name. When Malcolm X is on the interview, with the colonizer man, he was telling the truth about his people that was in slavery. because we as poor people have been racialized and profiled and incarcerated aren't going to continue to tell the man's lies to our yet next generation. So we're the Pope Boys Project, the poor magazine that's forced in poverty using the word to heal, educate, and relate how to survive and thrive through this stolen indigenous land. I say to our lonely ancestors upon whose land we're humbly standing and to all of our brothers and sisters lost to the lies of incarceration and colonization. So I'm going to do a short slam bio which introduces ourselves through poetry and then we have a piece we wrote for Malcolm. So first my sister. How y'all doing out there? I say Malcolm X. How you doing? I'm Quay Nandi. I'm Report Magazine. You know, wherever the people is calling, that's where I'm going to be at. We, that's what we do. We just don't talk to talk. We walk to walk. I shared our ancestors. We just went down to 850 Bryant Street and filed charges against landlords who threw out elders and that was the uh, contributors to their death. So we don't just talk. We do it. And like the kids were saying, Decolonize Academy, not the only do they teach about not just mankind's math, but they're also learning metanetta and they do yoga in the morning and doing capoeira and, then, and they're doing dancer and then they're learning different languages and it's a lot, all these things that our children need because we no longer, just like the sister Talia said earlier, we can't send them to their schools because they're not going to teach them the necessities they need to survive and identify for who they are, but they're going to be stirred up in a melting pot. So, much love to decolonize. D. Allen from Oakland, by way of San Francisco, by way of Atlanta. I say to Malcolm X, I say to his grandson, I say to his family. All right. All right. Hello. I am the poverty scholar, criminalized, racialized, and always in struggle for one dollar. I am the poverty scholar, and I rock this jailhouse attire because me and my poor mama did jail time. That's three months just trying to stay alive in this holler. I'm the poverty scholar and I'm the light-skinned daughter of a strong black Indian mama for without whom there would be no me. I live in the lines between the Mestis Sahi. So what you gonna do about my melanin challenge ass family? Cause I'm living and I'm being incarcerated trying to stay alive in this fight ass KKK lifestyle. I am the poverty scholar and I'm the daughter of Mama D, but without whom there would be no me. All right, so I'm going to give it. This is for Malcolm X, and I'm proud of our students that decolonize because Malcolm X is something they learn in the class. You see it about them, they learn. We don't, we don't teach them all about no, no John Wayne and none of that. We teach how, to, how some of our native uh, chiefs have uh, killed the colonizers, though, but we don't uh. teach them how to worship the colonizers. This is to Malcolm X. And this is part two to a poem I had wrote a while back called Mother Nature is Mad. This is part two called Yeah, I Said It. Mama Nature is Mad, part two. Y'all still don't get it. Your violations of my sacredness I will never forget. Many of my best sons and daughters were stolen and slaughtered. And I have yet to receive justice. Malcolm Shabazz was laid to rest on this day. Malcolm's Day, my birthday. And the mock of the grandfather of the people's greatness, I say, May is the quote unquote militant motherfuckers' month. And not that militant defined by the racist whites. 
but the ancestors who defied those who wanted to us to wither away and die and challenge the most wickedest bastards alive while America KKK wanted me to turn a blind eye to my young comrades assassination. It didn't happen on the soil, so therefore it's much easier to sweep under the rug. If Malcolm X was alive today, would racist white folk call him a hero? Or would they accuse him of being the leader of ISIS? It would definitely be a crisis because it's a sin against white skin to waking all the black gods and goddesses. Malcolm X said that the black woman was the most neglected, disrespected, and allowed by niggas to never be truly accepted. The American dream is to make millions like Ray McDonald then lose it all for being charged with rape and lassie. Yeah, I said it! The only time niggas you know in a funeral is I let go, the most controlling niggas, the one that did most of the dirt. Yeah, I said it! I can't even mourn in peace because them niggas be packing their pieces, praying, and causing a genocidal scene that contributes to our extinction. Extinct! Creating beige by worshiping pink and calling it black, and now Terrence Howard is the new Shaka Zulu. Yeah, I said it! All praises for the Malcolms and the exes who refuse to be cowards and honor their black mamas and don't punish their children for being angry at an unjust system. Yeah, I said it! If the police sacrifice is honored, do black lives really matter? Because if killer cops are ex honorated meaning an unknown badge of honor from a very well-known white supremacist that is plain for all of us to see. Black warrior queens being nailed to the cross while refusing to bow down to a so-called boss and not being afraid to face the enemy for the sake of her nature's survival. And what have you known for Mama Nature to be polite during a cleansing? I am Malcolm X! I am Malcolm X! I am Malcolm X! This is the day of our ancestor, and we ask nobody for approval, no acceptance, with no apologies, when we honor what is just us. Like the woman in the orange suit have said earlier, <laughs> at Decolonize Academy, let the kids learn about Malcolm X is a true history of this man's achievements on earth for black people and all people across the earth. Instead of the distortions that the books at the man school give of Malcolm X. Malcolm X is terrorist. Malcolm X is preacher of black hatred. And this poem is a new one, something I wrote this morning before I left the house. And like the best down. way I could, and the best way the I, could, are going down, but I could support today's event and give respect to the memory of El Haj or Malik Shabazz, better known as Malcolm X. This one is called Turnaround, 180 degree turnaround. Made several times in one lifetime, from numbers runner, yeah, from numbers runner and burglar, break-ins to mansions of money white men, to writer and Muslim messenger, reaching in the hearts of defeated black men. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> from hip cat in a scarlet zoot suit, strutting over. Boston Bricks, later NYC, to harsh judge holding court before the mic, charging the Caucasian with being the greatest kidnapper, murderer, robber, swine eater on this earth. From just another criminal and prisoner in the American nightmare, someone else's dream, to, amazing, to an amazing, powerful, needed critic of American hypocrisy, another's democracy, tearing the veil clean off African eyes to see. From a servant of separation in the person of Elijah Muhammad in Harlem, to a servant of unity who embraced the true Muhammad in Mecca. From being Detroit Red to Brother Malcolm to El Haj who dropped his own name, long chained to his ancestors' slave master's whip hand. Shady Negro to strong black man who joined all sexes and races, including his own people, also mine, to the real threat to humanity, which threatened his voice and body.
but not the message. This nation, by any means necessary. Yes. 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 Yes.